Hello everyone, I am Grace Perez and I was assigned to tackle about precipitation, particularly with the subtopics, forms and weather systems. So what is precipitation? The term precipitation denotes all forms of water that reach the earth from the atmosphere. The usual forms are rainfall, snowfall, hail, frost, it is also the final process of the hydrologic cycle through which the water from the atmosphere falls down to the earth. So why do we need to study precipitation? In the reference given, precipitation is used synonymously with rainfall. Why? Because rainfall is the predominant form of precipitation causing stream flow, especially flood flow. By learning precipitation, we also learn that it is responsible for many hydrological problems, such as floods and droughts. Next, how precipitation is formed. First, the atmosphere must have moisture. There must be sufficient nuclei to aid condensation. So what is nuclei? Nuclei are small particles on which water vapor condenses. And we have third, weather conditions must be good for condensation of water vapor to take place. And lastly, the, the products of condensation must reach the earth. Precipitation results when water droplets come together and merge to form larger drops that get drop down. Its place and form depend upon a number of meteorological factors such as the weather elements like wind, temperature, humidity, and pressure in the volume region enclosing the clouds and the ground surface at a given place. So, forms of precipitation. This is the first subtopic that I was assigned. So precipitation is classified according to its form in which it reaches the ground. We have here forms of precipitation. First one is rain, next is snow, drizzle, blaze, sleet, and lastly, hail. We have here the first form of precipitation which is rain. It is a type of precipitation in Rain has a water drop size of less than 6 mm and greater than 0.5 mm. So any drop larger than the stated size tends to break up into drops of smaller size during its fall from the clouds. On the basis of its intensity, so intensity, rainfall intensity is defined as the ratio of the total amount of rain falling during a given period to the duration of the period. It is expressed in depth units per unit time, usually as millimeter per hour. Rainfall is classified as light rain with intensity 2.5 mm per hour, moderate rain 2.5 mm per hour to 7.5 mm per hour, and lastly heavy rain greater than 7.5 mm. Snow. It is the second form of precipitation. Snow is composed of powdery mass of ice crystals with density varies from 0.06 to 0.15 grams per cubic centimeter and has a, an average density of 0.1 grams per cubic centimeter. In India, it occurs in Himalayan regions. While in the Philippines, snow does not occur. Our country only experiences two seasons, the dry or hot season and the rainy season. However, with the drastic change of climate that is currently happening globally today, it is not impossible for the Philippines to add the winter season in their climate, climate list. Besides, some elevated parts of the country like Baguio City or Benguet show signs of snow. The third one is drizzle. Drizzle is a fine sprinkle of numerous water droplets 
and has a size of less than 0.5 mm. Intensity is less than 1 mm per hour. So, Jizzle, parang ito yung tinatawag na ambon dito sa atin. In this form, the drops are so small that they appear to float in the air. It is also considered as the lightest form of precipitation. We have here the fourth form of precipitation, which is blaze. Glaze is rain or drizzle in contact with cold ground at 0 degrees Celsius. Or water drops and freezes in form ice coating. The next one is slip. Slip is a frozen raindrops of transparent rains. In Britain, it is a precipitation of snow and rain simultaneously. And lastly, we have the hail. Hail is showery precipitation. It, it is a regular pellets or lump of ice of size more than 8 mm. It occurs in violent thunderstorms. So instead of snow, this is what we support in the Philippines. The next topic is weather systems for precipitation. We have here five weather systems. The front, cyclone, anti-cyclones, convective precipitation, and orographic precipitation. We have here the front. Front is the interface between two distinct air masses. The ascending warmer air cools adiabatically with the consequent formation of clouds and precipitation. So the blue color represents the cold front and the right side is the warm front where warm and moist air resides. The warm air rises over the cold front as you can see and then condenses producing precipitation. Next Weather system is cyclone. Cyclone is a large low pressure region with circular wind motion. Cyclone is also known as typhoon here in our country. Cyclone has two types, tropical cyclones and extratropical cyclones. Tropical cyclones. It is called cyclone in India, hurricane in USA, and typhoon in Southeast Asia. It has a normal aerial extent of about 100 to 200 km in diameter. The center of the storm is called the eye, which may extend to about 10 to 50 km in diameter. Tropical cyclones cause heavy damage to life and property in their land path, and intense rainfall and floods in streams are usual consequences. We have here the next type of cyclone, which is extratropical cyclones. These are cyclones formed in locations outside the tropical zone. They possess a strong counterclockwise wind circulation in the northern hemisphere, and the magnitude of precipitation and wind velocities are relatively lower than those of a tropical cyclone. So this type of cyclone is, does not do much damage in the lives of people. Another weather system is anti-cyclone. These are region, regions of high pressure, unlike cyclones which are regions of low pressure. The weather is usually calm at the center. It causes clockwise wind circulations in the northern hemisphere. It is also different from the direction of extratropical cyclone which is counterclockwise wind circulations. In anti-cyclone, winds are of moderate speed, and clouds and precipitation conditions exist at the outer edges. Kasi yung sa center part na is Fernando. Fourth weather system is the convective precipitation. Convective precipitation is the 
process when pocket of air rises due to localized heating because of its lesser density. So, makikita niya dito sa left and sa right, pataas yung moist air. Air from cooler surroundings flows to take up its place, thus setting up in the cell. The warm air rises and undergoes cooling which forms precipitation. So, habang nagpapata sila, pagdating sa clouds, lumalamig yung and the process of condensation takes place. And then, after that, it produces what we call precipitation. And the usual aerial extent of such rays is small, being limited to a diameter of about them. So, nangyayari lang to sa mga particular na lugar. We have here the last weather system, which is orographic precipitation. In orographic precipitation, the moist air masses may get lifted up to higher altitudes due to the presence of mountain barriers. So, pag malapit yung, yung dagat sa mountain, magagabi lang, yung moist air is na-force sila punta sa taas, pataas ng mountain since may nakaharap. And then, yung moist air, nag-undergo sila sa cooling and hindi na sila nakakalating sa other side ng Nang ng mountain. And after they undergo cooling, the process of condensation takes place and then produces precipitation. So the ang left side ng mountain is called the windward side and the right part naman is called the leeward side. Windward side receives heavy rainfall or precipitation. Well, the leeward side receives light rain. So that's it. Thank you very much.